This is Channel Attitude. Your voice. Your right. Your freedom. Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Versus Mrs. LaGrasso versus LaGrasso right here on Vince Russo's The Brand and Big Vito Brand Audio. I am the Mrs. part. I am Noel. This is the Mr. part. Now, some of you know him as Big Vito. Some of you know him as Skull Von Crush. Some of you know him as, what was your man's name? Fantastico? Oh, Phenomenon. That was it. Some of you may know him uh, as the Harry Krishna. Some of you may know him as Sledgehammer Rock, but more recently, Everybody and their brother in the state of Florida is calling this man Cosmo. His name is Vito LaGrasso. How are you today, Vito? Doing good. The cause is here. The Big Daddy Mac with the sex appeal attack. How's everybody going? Why well, well, you look so pleased with yourself. We have had an up and down weekend, mostly ups. We've enjoyed ourselves, and we hope you've all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Yep. We had a phenomenal Thanksgiving. We had a... A basically a chicken off. We did not do turkey. I saw a lot of people didn't do turkey because there was a turkey shortage. And we went to the store a little late. Thank God you don't eat <laughs> ham because from what I heard, ham was $75. $75 for ham. Go. F I'm not paying $75 for ham. Ever. Might as well go buy some sliced ham from the deli. Deli ham. I'd rather have deli meat anyway. You know, I don't really like, care for hot food, like at all. And you know that. I like my I like my food cold. I don't know why. I just don't like hot food. Never have. But people were out there paying and fist fighting over $75 worth of ham. It's not that good, guys. I will fight for a pumpkin pie. I will not fight for a ham. Is there any food you'd fight for? I love prime rib. This is my one go. Yeah, for I could see you fight for prime rib. We used to have good prime rib here. And then because of all these shortages, people get your shit together. These shortages. So they say things are going to be short on Christmas. And we were lucky enough to have a family member come, Nick G. Everybody remembers he came. Nick G made a buffalo chicken, an entire buffalo chicken. I made a rosemary chicken. So we had a chicken off. They were both delicious. We had a lot of good food. I actually cooked for the first time sitting down because I can't stand up. So I was sitting and I'm cooking and he helped and Vito helped clean up. And we had a great Thanksgiving, I thought. It was Thank nice, you. cool. The night before we had friends over. Everybody was drinking and having a good time. And and uh, we had a great Thanksgiving, I think. But we did not have any turkey this year. Okay. No turkey. But for Christmas, I'm thinking maybe we should go the Italian route because there's never a shortage on good Italian food. We'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll see what it brings. Maybe we'll have to have a vote on it, what we should have for, for Christmas. But mm -hmm. um, anyway, so we got our Thanksgiving out of the way. Son came here. He stayed. We had a really good time with him. And then Vito went to do what you guys wanted him to do. You guys voted that you wanted Vito to go get this Cadillac Eldorado, right? Vito always listens to what you guys say. So do you want to tell the story and then I'll fill in the bits and pieces? So I talked to the guy, come up with a price. They say, nothing's wrong with the car. Everything is good. It looks beautiful in the pictures. Mint. Get there. Two hours, 15 minute drive. I look at the car. I'm saying, first thing, it's not shining. Something's wrong. It did not look like the pictures. Looked like it hadn't been waxed. Looks like it was sitting. Go and start this thing up. Open the engine. Didn't look good. I go, the visor's hanging. First thing. And it smelled when you turned yeah. it on. The leather seats looked like they hadn't been conditioned. The carpets were dirty. It looked like it was dusty and sitting for a while. So it drove it. Had no pickup. And I had brought somebody with me. I brought the Don with me. The, we have a friend, the Don. It's my friend's 
dad, the Don. Yeah. That he is the Don of, he's the expert of everything. The Don, he's the man. He's the Don. So he was my mentor on this trip. And um, I looked at him, he looked at me and he says, uh, he says, uh, I wouldn't buy it. I says, yeah, I, I've got the feeling already. He says, you could offer him a couple grand. He says, but it's a project. I says, no, I don't want to take on a project. I'm walking away from it. So when I got out of the car after we drove it, um, the ladies were shocked. They said, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to walk away from it. So the guy was a bullshitter. He said, everything is good in his car. You can bring it to any mechanic. While his wife was saying, car has no pickup. He, we stayed behind. Me and, and Mama stayed behind. The Don's wife, Mama. We stayed behind. I stayed behind. And the lady was there. And she was from Poland. I think he was from Germany. And he sounded like definitely an old German war movie type of guy. Even though he wasn't. He was a young guy. He just sounded like that. But she was really honest. And she goes, the car, he, he had no pickup. He, he, we came from Miami and our boat business. Not this so good here in, in Puerto Tarragorta. So, like, we settled the car for the money. And I'm like, uh-huh. So I look at Mama. I'm like, uh-huh. She gives me the look. Vito and the Don, they pull in. The Don's kicking the tires. I, I knew it was bad. As soon as he got out, he's looking at the tires. I was like, oh, this is bad. I said, we're going to have to let the crew down. This cannot be the big mafia car. It can't be. It can't be a big V mafia car. But we had a great time in Punta Gorda. Beautiful. For those of you who live there, oh, my God, your town is gorgeous. There's pictures on Instagram. We had a blast. They have a, um, a place called Fisherman's Village. And it was already done for Christmas. It was the day after Thanksgiving. It was so done. They had the Grinch was their theme. And the Grinch was there. And B and I took pictures with the Grinch and all the stuff. And we ate out on the water and they had the live music. It's like the places like we love to go to those places. So it wasn't a lost trip. We had a good Don, uh, trip with the, with the Don and Mama. We had a nice trip with them. And we laughed and had a good time. And... Uh, you know, no, no car. So we're back to square one with, I mean, we have the Cadillac. You just got a Cadillac, but we have no big Vito Mafia car, guys. And even though the Cadillac won, the Cadillac lost in the end. So now we're back at the beginning. So, so. I found two Corvettes today. It's a red one with 23,000 miles in 1986. Prime mint condition. Found a beautiful blue one, 2004, 128,000 miles. This thing is the real deal of sex appeal. Mm -hmm. This is the Cosmobile. <laughs> Cosmo Castorini's Corvette, he thinks. So we're into the next thing. But also, there's other cars. There's also three. There's two other choices. There's a Mercedes Convertible. That's the voice from God. And then there is a beautiful luxury Jaguar. Oh, my God. This thing. You can't go wrong with any car. So I'm thinking, do I want to buy an older car or do I want a newer car with 60,000 miles? And both those two cars I mentioned have 60,000 miles on it. What do I do? So we're trying to think. So if you have any ideas and you're watching the show, please shoot me Vito a message. He's really having a difficult time because this is the this is you guys' car. This isn't our car. We bought our car. This is the big Vito brand car. So we're trying to find something that you guys want to see us do stuff in or do a meet and greet in or go to the thing. And we need you guys. I want to do some shout outs. Would you mind? Go ahead. All right. First off, hold on. Let me slide over here. I got to give a shout out to my homeboy, Big Josh, because everybody knows I've been in really bad. I'm still not well. I'm still not good at all. We're probably going to talk this week. But Big Josh sent me the coolest Hot Wheels Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie is my favorite Mickey. Thank you, Josh. My favorite. Thank you, Josh. That made my day. Also, I want to say thank you for Nancy Larson. She knows I love chocolate-covered strawberries, and thank she you, sends Nancy. them for me for the season. Thank you, Sue, sent me a really nice card. I am working on getting well. If you notice, my cheeks are a little puffy because I've been on steroids, but we're working on it. We're working on it. We're going to try some new things this week, probably head back to the doctor. I, Vito, cannot get past the fact that even though it's right there, I can't go in that tube for that MRI again that I'm supposed to get. I'm in full-on panic, and every day I pick up the phone and I dial and I hang it up when they pick up. 
I don't know what to do. I'm afraid to, and I've had how many of these things? How many? You're going to have to do it soon. I'm terrified. I can't talk myself into it. What do you think I should do? I mean, Vito's literally had to get inside MRI machines with me because I'm that, I'm very claustrophobic. I'm that afraid to go in there. He's literally had to climb in and stand half in, half out for like an, over an hour. What was that one? Two hours you stood for an MRI? Oh, man. Never again. Never again. But I had to have it then. I was really bad. I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. What do you guys do to get over like big fears like that? You don't like small spaces and something terrible happened to you. Yeah, but I'm cool. Yeah, but I'm not cool. I'm not cool. Like I'm, I'm a nerd and I freak out. I, I've got anxiety. Like I can't go in these things. You broke down in an elevator. You got stuck in an elevator. Two I don't know. Two hours. I laid down and went to sleep. Did we talk about this on the show yet? Yeah, we did. did we? Yeah. He got stuck in an elevator. He's terrified. Two hours. He lays down and goes to sleep. Me, I could lay down in there and I could probably go to sleep or listen to some music or or whatever else. I can't. I, I cannot talk myself into going and I had the CT and I need the MRI and I, I can't do it. I don't know what to do. Do you think you could knock me out and then like stick me in there? Nope. Drug me up? You have to drug yourself up. <laughs> Drink weed, pills, what? What do I do? I don't know what to do. What do I do to go in this, this tube? I don't know, but that's my dilemma I'm having right now. And that's the dilemma Vito's having right now. But other than that, we had a really great time. And we thank the people of Puzza Gorda for being so kind to us and so oh, nice. Gosh, and nice. even the Grinch was nice to us. And the Grinch is nice to no one. Right. Well, we got to talk about some things here because you have decided that you need to. It's the holiday season. It's the holiday season. And Vito wants to know some stuff. And now he's picked. Some to vote about. Go ahead. That, that was horrible. That's an actual Christmas song that I just sang. It was, it was terrible. Don't ever do it again. I will do as I choose. I'm an excellent singer. I have an audition in December to sing in a show. Believe it or not. What you just did. Shall I sing something better? No. Well, then Enough don't singing. criticize. This is worse than uh, South Philly Neen cooking spaghetti and, and meatballs today. It looked really good. I'm sorry. She had the sausage from the city. Like it was looked really good. I was trying out. You picked the vote. It's the holiday season and you have another dilemma. And if you make it out of this without me shoving you out of the screen, it's going to be a miracle. All Go. right, guys. Being that everybody knows I'm the cause. And the cause has got gumas. Now, this week's vote. I know everybody thinks I'm an icon. I know everybody thinks I'm their idol, I'm the man. Vito, I love you. You say it like it is. You got to do what you got to do. So this week, the Christmas is coming. And you have to buy gifts. One for the wife and one for the guma. Right? So this week's debate is who do you spend more money on this year? The wife or the guma? This isn't even a vote. You this, don't have a guma. This is a vote. You don't have a guma. Baby, don't ask don't me about me. my business, Kay. Don't baby me. Number one, I like to number things for Vito. That way he can catch up, keep on, and I can refer to the numbers. Number one, okay? You don't have a guma. Number two. You better get me something good. I've had a rough effing year. I, I had COVID. I've every, been in the ER. Every, I've been year, in a, every year is rough. No. Well, I've married How about you, somebody every buying me rough. something for putting off with all this rough? I buy you stuff all the time. How many Boulevard watches do you own? I bought you, you a gazillion. You lately, baby? I don't know the last time I bought you a watch. I bought you jewelry, Four though. years ago. That hasn't been four years because I bought it you a Mickey been... watch. I bought you a Mickey watch. That's not a Boulevard watch. And besides, you only wait out for Disney. And it's because I didn't want you wearing a Rolex to Disney World anymore. I had to anyway, buy people, an expensive watch with Mickey people, on it. People, what are you doing in this situation? You know, you got loved ones you got to take care of. So 
I'm at a crossroads. You know, I, I don't like to be You're bring, at a crossroads. I don't like to bring up these things, but the cars who has now has street cred with people coming up to me and saying, Hey cars, what's going on? The license plate that's coming that could be on the new Corvette, on the new Jag, could be the cars. I bought you one that's this big B Mafia. It'll be here December 16th. And that's going on the Cadillac. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, I want one thing for Christmas this year. What? It'll make you pissed. No, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want one thing for Christmas this year. I want a Rottweiler. Babe. So I want a Rottweiler for Christmas. There's only I'm so many things I could do. Yeah, that's the one thing I asked for. It's one thing I right, want. So, and I don't think I never get. Everybody, got. you know, doesn't get what they want on Christmas. I never do. I never do either. You do all the time. You're always walking around with the drip, with the drip, with the drip, with the drip all the time. You got it all over. You coming out. I always get you the nice suits. I always get you the, the I mean, the, uh, the, the uh, short sets. I mean, I get you the nice shirts, the robes, the, the shoes. I get you shoes like you. Know, I, I can't even. What do I get? What do I get? Huh? Huh? What do I get? Made love to yeah, that's right. You get made love to too because no, I'm the, I was the initiator I'm last the night. Love folks. Maker. I You're was the, the love receiver. I was the initiator. It's about time you come to bed. I come to bed every night. You I, work overnight. That's why we have a guma. We don't have a guma. You we work overnight. Have a guma. I want one thing. That's it. And I need to say, like, oh, I want a little puppy. No, 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 that's not what I want. I want a companion. Because Vito works nights. And I'm alone. And I've already bought you, like, an amazing gift already. Months ago, Was I it bought it. on my wish list? No, because you don't have wish lists where I got this. But it's something that you will love. It's gorgeous. It can't be on a wish list because it was created just for you. Just for you. You make your face now, and when it's fucking awesome, I want an apology on the show. I want a full-on apology on the show Why saying I'm great at it. Why you so much? Because this is who I am, and, and if you don't like the accommodations. Everything goes with me like a fucking buzzsaw wind. I could give a shit. I don't care about things. I'm a Buddhist. I'll get more things. Good. I have things in here. Good. Say goodbye. I have things in here. Say goodbye to the big veto brand. Good. I'll call it the big Noel brand. Hello. People will watch. People will watch. You're always threatening these divorces over dumb things. I'm talking about a great gift I get you. And you talk about a divorce. You want to talk about cheating in a guma. Do you think I go right? Oh, I'm going to get a divorce. No. You know what? I'm not. You know why? I'm an adult. And adults don't do dumb things like that. Be an adult. Okay? Have an adult life, okay? I, do I don't know what to do. What Corvette should I get, guys? And I'm going, guys, I got to have an MRI, and I'm really nervous. And you're talking about red or blue. Really? Be an adult, Vito. I'm an adult. Really? Where? Where are you an We've adult? We've been dealing where? with your health issues since right. the day I met you. And they're you. my health. So where's your adult, Mr. Red or Mr. Blue? I got to make a big decision about which is the new Gumada Squad car. Yeah, like Mr. Heat Miser or Mr. This movie. Uh, oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Seriously, one of us is an adult so, and one of us is a Vito. Who do you spend more money on? Do you do it for the Gumad or you do it for the wife? Now, you see heart? how the cook and wife breaks your balls. And the Gumad is there for good times. She doesn't bring her drama to you. She just lives. She does. She produces. She gives. Inaccurate. Inaccurate. Uh, and may I bring you back to Goodfellas? That Gumad didn't end good. She wanted more and more and more. She was putting half his coke up her nose. That was not good. That's the Gumad. She bought problems. You know what his wife bought? You know what his wife bought? What the fuck was his wife's name? Denise? What was Karen. her name? Karen. That's it. I knew it was one of your exes fell in there. Karen. Right? Karen, what's Karen doing? She's at home. She's raising the kids. She's dealing with the feds and offering them coffee while they're tearing the house up. Meanwhile, the Gamon's there sniffing the coke up her nose, partying all the, he's got to pay for furniture. He's got to go down and beat up the guy at the bridal shop. That's easy for you? That's the gumad that's no problem? Or the wife that stays home and cooks your I lasagna and I, raises your but children? I don't have that kind of gumad. I got a silent gumad. Yeah, like invisibly silent. Go on. She doesn't cause problems. That's Neither why I want to. That's why I want to enlighten her 
with a beautiful Christmas gift. Really? I'm offended. You want to enlighten her. I work for you. I work hard for you. She works for me too. What does she do? I can't talk about my business. See, I told you, you were getting pushed out of the show today and I don't want to hurt my back. So don't make me beat the crap out of you. She's probably sniffing half your lasagna up her mouth or whatever. Well, I don't know. Do well, she you don't do anything. She's went to health and fitness, you know? Oh, really? So she's into the health and fitness, huh? Why don't you buy her? Why don't you buy her a big thing of protein shakes and tell her to huff it in, breathe it in her lungs and pass away? You don't need a gumad. You don't need it. You have a wife that does everything you want. And asks for very little. I don't ask what for What do you mean anything. ask for very little? I ask for very little. What do I ask for? What do I ask for? I don't ask for nothing. I ask for a furry dog and some sex. That's all. And not with the furry dog. I ask for I ask for nothing. Do you see any nothing on me? Look at him. He's got gold chains. He's got Versace. What do I got? I think I paid 10 bucks for these glasses. You have Versace glasses. Yeah, but I don't like how they fit on my right. fat face when it's all staring at And you have Versace jewelry. But did I ask for it? I no. never heard of a woman complaining because her husband gets a Versace. I don't want Oh, my it. God. I don't want that. I'm not interested in that. All right. Don't ever ask me again. I never asked in the first place. I right, Don't go. I wish I had a Versace. If I want a Versace, I'll go buy a Versace. What, am I poor? I'll go buy a Versace if I want it. I'd rather have other things in, in my life. Every month, I pay for Disney passes so we could go to Disney. Those are the things that make me happy. Pay my Disney pass, then I'll be happy. I love to do that. I don't need any jewelry. I don't need anything. I, I need. Like, well, good, good. You go ahead and you need. I need because I, I got to do things. What? Like go out with a go on and go Damn it, if you're there on a Thursday night on karaoke night, there's going to be bows strong. I'm telling you right now. I'm Baby, I got to do these things. You got to do what things? I'm sorry, I'm parched. You got to do what things? We're supposed to be America's favorite couple. We are. That's why they're going to vote. Do you buy a wife the more expensive gift okay. or do you buy the guma the more expensive gift? Do you listen to the wife complain? And do you listen to the freaking Al Cosmo? You're the best. You know, in the movie, because everything revolves around movies in your life. Nothing is real. Everything's fantasy land. I'm surprised you don't hire Oompa Loompas to come around. What are those little freaking things called in Wizard of Oz? Oh, uh, munchkins to come around at Christmas time. It'd be elves or something. Fido, in the movie, the wife asked for nothing. She just wanted to go to dinner. She went by herself. Cosmo's out there buying, oh, Cosmo, look at this bracelet. Let's go to the opera. That was the gumad. You know what? The wife wanted nothing. She just wanted to be left alone. She cooked the dinner. She just didn't want the dogs eating off the plates. That's it. She went to dinner by herself. She didn't ask that man in the house, but but Cosmo was uh, getting his uh, undercarriage cleaned by the Gumad with the jingly bracelet, and he got caught. Maybe you should learn from that. What I is, did I learn. Nothing. Hold from on, you. hold on, people. I'm going to put it. I did learn from that. Never go to the opera with you the Gumad. You learned the wrong thing. You learned the wrong thing. You learned the wrong thing from every movie. Don't go to the opera with your Gumad. You never get caught. Let me tell you something. Be, being around Vito and going to a movie is a whole different experience because, you know, some movies are there to teach you actual lessons. Like you go and you learn an actual lesson. You watch Rocky and you learn that what was more important in Rocky was his love for Adrian. And you learn things. If you pose so I'm healthy, Cosmo, you, I will knock you out. Anyway, you learn different things from different films. So you take Vito and you sit him down and you show him a movie and you wait for the reaction. You wait for the reaction. Should we even discuss Urban Cowboy? Because we've almost come to blows over Urban yeah, Cowboy. Because she was a bitch. She didn't listen. She went with the guy. And no, that was it. why couldn't she ride the bull? Because he was jealous. He wanted to be the superstar. He couldn't stand that she could actually do something that a man could do. Yeah. So he threw a little and pepper she accidentally tantrum. fell, and his thing fell inside her. 
Well, that's what you tell me what happens. So I'm only going to believe that because that's what you said. All right. But here's the thing. You take away the wrong message from every movie you watch. And Moonstruck, you absolutely took all the wrong messages from the movie. And then you display them here on the podcast. And then people go, really? Maybe I shouldn't go to the opera. And then the opera business suffers. And you know what? I love Broadway. I love the opera. You're ruining our business. I'm not going to the opera. Oh, I don't care whether you go. I'll go by myself. I don't need you they to go, go with to me. Anyway, town. I'll get a lift. I don't I'm care. I'm going to go to Old Town on Thursday. Good. You go to Old Town on Thursdays. And I'll make sure everybody is out there looking All around right. at Old Town go on Thursdays. my sushi joint. Yeah. I don't even know the last time you took me for sushi. I don't know the last time you took me to dinner. You've been sick. You've been sick and under the weather. I can't take you out. So I have to take the gumara. So I gotta make my food routine. So wait a minute. I am Sunday night in the ER and you're taking the gumad out to dinner while I'm I Thursday. Lying. I got look, I still got a little bruise there. I know. I still got a little bruise. Yeah, I, you know, the gumad understands you're not feeling good, so hey, you know what? The gumad can kiss it. Not you, it. I, I I'm done with this gumad stuff. Do you have a gumad? Yes. You Break got, it off now. You got five days. No, you don't. We're not stopping until this is settled. You tell me. If you have a gumad, I want it done. Cross your hands like you've got something to say. Uh-uh. Not in this house, you don't. People know who runs this show. Those little arms <laughs> crossed. No patient. <laughs> cross your arms on me. Uh -huh. Cross your arms. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, no. You've been in the doghouse so many weeks with this gumad thing. I swear to God, we're going to start calling you Rover right. and get you a this collar. Will, this will be the last vote for the gumads, okay? You know that's a lie. You already know it's a lie. You know it's your lie because you know it's a lie. This will be the last vote. You know it's a lie because you know we'll sit down next week and go, it's Cosmo, can't get a gumad. What's up, Brad Pitt? Like, I know what you're going to do because I know you. Like this right here. Uh, I know you. I guess you got five days to vote. Five big do days. Do they even know what the vote is? Do you buy your gumad a more expensive Christmas gift than you buy for the wife? So do you buy the wife the more expensive gift or you buy the gumad the more expensive gift? You got five days to vote. Gumad Christmas or a wife Christmas? This is not right. My my poor heart hurts. My poor heart too. My poor no, no, your poor pocket's gonna hurt after this podcast. I don't want I don't want money. You know she watches. Does she? You don't have a gumad. She I can't breathe. I got agita. Oh my god. Agita. Well, I can't even say it. I can't breathe. Vito Joseph, how dare you? How dare you come on this show? How dare you? And I give can't. signals, right? I I can't. All right. That's it. I'm gonna have to start. Yeah. I'm gonna have Hold to have right. a gumon. What's the man name? Thinking about you. Listen, stop with your Carol Burnett bullshit. Do you have a gumad? <laughs> you said she wa uh, watches the show. She does watch the show. If you watch the show, ho, stay away from my husband. I will tell everybody in your apartment building, including your landlord. There's a ho in 197. I, what did she say in the movie? No, there's no, no, no. All I want, I want nothing with money. This will be the last vote for the Gumans. You, you know this is not going to happen. Last you, vote, guys. This dummy's going to You got five Gumad. days to vote. Five big days. Is it a Gumada Christmas or is it a wife Christmas? All I wanted was a fucking dog. Oh. Now we're talking about there's other women out there and they're watching the show and this one's sending the stupid messages with his fingers. All I wanted was a little Rottweiler to love and call my own. But instead... Was that one of those messages? I'm sending your gift back. You're giftless now. You're getting nothing but coal. Briquettes. You seriously <laughs> told our son today how to give somebody coal. Like. I've done it. I know. you. Well, before we go, we should really. Because we're on a roll here. We should really. You should really tell that story. Because you. he was teaching Nick G today how to screw with somebody by giving them coal for Christmas. And the story was really funny. And I think Vito so, should tell it. 
I, I, had, really I had this girlfriend and she was saying, you know, I said, what do you want? I was, oh, you know, I do you laundry. Why don't you get me some laundry detergent? Oh, you think I'm so horrible. Why don't you get me coal for Christmas? Okay. That's all you want for Christmas? Yeah. I just want laundry detergent and I want coal. Okay. Come over my house. Christmas gifts are there. You know. What happens? There's three things. I bought her the biggest thing of laundry detergent. She goes, you bought me laundry detergent. I killed you. And she opens up the second one. She goes, you bought me softener. Huge. It was huge. I spent $20 a piece on these things. <laughs> Broke the bank. I said, listen, be careful with this one. Just be careful when you unwrap it, please. It's cold. Because you got me cold. Didn't you put it in a little box? No, I put it in a big fucking box. Oh. I filled that motherfucker. So she goes, you got me cold. I said, what did you ask for? She said, what do you mean? I said, when I asked you what you wanted, because what did you say? Laundry detergent softener and you want the cold. Right? She goes, yeah. I said, and what did I give you? A face drop. I said, you're serious. I says, of course I'm serious. This is what you asked for. This is what I got you. So you get people what they ask for. Right. I, I already asked you guys. It's on record. That's all I want. Okay. That's what so I asked for. I got her what she asked for. She didn't like it. I said, next time, make a better list. Okay. I gave him my list right here on the air. All right. Exactly so, what I wanted. So, guys. Do you really have a gamata? Do you love me? Babe, of course you love me. Babe. I love you. You do? Yeah. A lot? Mm hmm A whole lot? Come on. Look at my little I do love him. We yell and scream on the show, but I really do love him. All right, five days to vote. Do you make it a gamata Christmas or do you make it a white Christmas? Do it here on the Big Vito brand. We need a box. All right? All right. Okay, I'll finish it up for you guys. Guys, go over and vote. You got five days over on Twitter. We're sorry that we could not get you guys the Cadillac that you wanted. Sorry. It went bad. But we're working on the next one, and we're going to let you help with that, too. But five days to vote. Magic Tea Spiller. That's me. Cosmo's there watching the vote daily. You guys have no idea. He checks it constantly. So leave messages. He'll answer you back. Go over to Patreon. We got a, I just put a really good thing up on Patreon. We did a Thanksgiving kind of tour thing where Vito toured the, the bar while it was all lit up at night with the fire and getting ready for people to come over. And then we showed the Thanksgiving food and where we went with the quarter. So go over there and check that out. There's more shows coming there. And one of our shows is moving over there. The Pro Wrestling Reflection Guys, their show's going to move on, and it's really good. It's a super good show if you like classic wrestling. So go over there, check that out. Big V Mafia, we'd love to have you guys on board. It starts at a dollar a month. A dollar don't hurt nobody. It'll help feed the Rottweiler. Vito's going to give me for Christmas. So go over there, check it out. He's under the Big Vito brand on social media. He's hot on TikTok. Go join him. He answers all your questions on there. And I think that's about it for this week, babe. All right. So we'll see you guys back here next week for Mr. Versus Mrs. Bye-bye.